I'm going to be traveling like so much December, so I'm not going to be able to get much streaming in this month. I'm actually leaving Thursday, I think, on the 8th, all the way to the 19th. Seat Story Cup and uh, another tournament. Let's not keep Chow Ball with Dim's hair, because it's not a practice play. Ah, I'm so worried with this hand. It's a fun priest deck to play right now. Dragon Priest, Reno Dragon Priest are both really fun. Control Priest if you like that. I still think Control, like, Control Priest has gotten better, but the style of killing every minion is really bad right now. Like, I think Control Warrior is in the same spot where, like, decks like Jade gives you a lot of trouble if you go for a style that's purely reactive. Like, Reno Lock here, you can do powerful, like, it's not purely reactive, you have a lot of minions and board pressure. Okay, good draw. I don't think I can wait for Doomsayer. Okay, let's see. So he's playing a weapon next turn. Oh my god, I just realized I can't even Doomsayer here and still survive against Fireworks. That's four power. I wonder. That's a four power one drop with patches. I guess I might as well wait and save coin for Reno. <laughs> If I coin out Doomsayer and he has Fireworks and I have to use my coin for that, it's just game over, I think. I don't know if he's gonna play Fireworks now, but. Like, even if he had it and I don't play Doomsayer, he might go for another play. Maybe more minions instead of this. So he plays it anyways. I'm still at, at the play, it's just I'm saving my coin. Such bad shape against Frothing, too. Because uh, Frothings can be huge. Dragon. Should we ever tap here or just pass? Like, I think it's going to play another minion and then I'll MC tech next turn, so I shouldn't quill here. Tap to 23. He has 10 damage on board. Tap 23, go to 13. Then I'm MC attack plus Moral Coil. I'd still probably die. I'm not gonna tap, I'm just gonna pass here. Based on my plans, MC Tech Coil, then Coin Reno, if I can make it that long. Hopefully, he plays another minion. It's hard for him to. I don't know, we'll see if he plays another minion. Was that engaging TC one thirty mental dislocator? Oh. My play be thirsty. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. They have save coin for Reno. You die on turn five too too often. Uh oh, it's kind of not able to deal with it. Six four. I might still have to play Reno here. It's just my chance of winning isn't a hundred percent if after coin Reno because this is gonna deal so much damage. Oh, that's such a good draw. Shadow bolt and then Reno next turn. I'm assuming he's not gonna play a stronger minion than six power minion. I could tap. Tap basically means I have to Reno, so let's see. If I tap, go to 12, he has 4, he has 8 damage, 2 Heroic Strikes kills me, 1 Heroic Strike and Cork Run. I'm not tapping. For Blackwing! This is easy here. Gotta play it. If I could get Emperor down this turn, I could have saw Shadow Flame next turn, but we've just been dead. For Blackwood. 
Alright, we traded. It's 9 less damage. He's gonna lose his board anyways. Oh! That is good. I was gonna say, he's gonna lose his board anyways the turn after this turn, because I could play Emperor into uh, Solanus, Shadow Flame, or Leroy Shadow Flame, stuff like that. There's a lot more gameplay for him. He's probably running Grom and stuff. If he's running Crusher, it's not a, not a super fast deck. I'm just gonna set this up. It's still 5-5, five, five, still contest the board. And then it also sets me up for a Sylvan Shadow Flame or any kind of potential move like that. So I'm guessing it's not running Heroic Strike. So I guess I should have tapped one of the turns if I knew his deck. I feel like he, there's almost no way to run Heroic Strike for dragons that goes to slate, but Arcanine Reaper is still very likely. Let's go for 5, okay, 4 damage everything. I'm just going to set up for Shadow Flame. I don't think it's even worth to kill one of the minions. Because I'm- I feel like I'm going to have to Shadow Flame no matter what next turn. The five damage is pointless, pretty much. I wonder what the other options were. I don't think it was any... Was there something better than five damage? The more I think about it. I don't think Leroy Shadow Flame is better, because I can still Shadow Flame with Kazakus. I can just... If I don't get this four damage or freeze, I can still PO Shadow Flame. This is six mana. Ten. So perfect turn for me. Let's take another one. Feels better still than Shadow Flaming this with PO, good extra PO damage to face. Like, I could have taken Leroy played instead of this, but I think this, this is more damage, right? I could kill a Whelps, but I'd rather have an 8 8 than a 6 2 on board. Still can save this for burst. Gul'dan versus Tyrande. You give me strength. Your soul shall be mine. The thing about last game is I didn't even know he was a face deck until he played Doomhammer. Because before then he was playing normal, but I guess I need to just know the meta better. So I could try to contest Priest more early by dropping Reno, but I feel like if I do lose board control, since a lot of my AoEs are late game like turn 8, if I Reno, I can buy myself time to AoE him down. Let's go ahead and just tap until turn 4 for, for a drop. Dark Peddler doesn't contest the 2-4 that well. Why do I still PO into my deck? I was like thinking if I play so I can PO the minion, but that's not even worth it. I actually shouldn't even have this card in my deck, I, th I think. This is a good opening though, he has a really slow opening. In this kind of matchup. Once upon a time. A little bit sprites in attack and heal. I guess he would still die to two trades. Yeah, I feel like we just go ahead and lock down this board here. 
Uh, turn six, this is when it can get Bookworm and Cabal. If he gets pain, it's always gonna get pain, that's fine. Now, I, I do want to get in, like, cash in this minion before turn six, so I can trade here and trade and get the, like, leave it as a 2 1 potentially. So he pains in turn five. He doesn't get to play Azure Drake or one of his strong five drop minions. That's still pretty good for him. Drax is our main way to win this game. So I'm second rate Bruiser PO and trade. This leaves a 4 3, 4 5. Our hand is actually very reactive now, so we need to tap here instead of playing the Peddler. I was thinking whether Peddler was fine. We used to get the cash in our PO, even though we shouldn't have it in our deck. Although it's not that bad to have in your deck, it's less synergy in these spots and in, uh, in spots where you want a Shadow Flame, so it's good. No nothing super good for him in turn 6. He can play off curve a little bit with Black and Corruptor. I think it's a little bit early for Brass Crystal Potion, might just be worth it. Thinking of that, why he did that. I think it's too good to blast crystal here. My eyes are open. This guy's dying a dragonfire potion, even I if no I heal him. Trade here, moral coil. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attack at all first, because it's depend. It's different depending on what he steals. Like if he steals a four, I want to trade three three, and if he steals three three, I want to attack this in. So uh, I just ended up not attacking first. I'm okay with a potion here. I still have initiative. And since I don't even have a Leroy combo, it's not even that useful to push him damage. Oh my god. You have to play for tempo here. Bait's that shard of death, but we have better moves next turn. The thing is, we really want to hit Draxus. Still play it. I, I need Bran. If I have Bran, I can go Bran MC, uh, Bran Dirty Rat MC Tech. Can even combo the Peddler with that play. <laughs> I ride him back, but there's no like he was he was riding to set up for Dragonfire Potion, I think. Whereas I'm just ride, riding to give him Yasera. Like it doesn't make sense to ride him back. I can't afford to fall behind. My hand is pretty situational. But I have really good removal. I wonder. I'm more selling. <laughs> Let's do this, because if we trade in, we can heal out the Voodoo Doctor outside of range of three. So uh, it doesn't die to Black Wing Corruptor. I just went in and played him out. I could have also saved him with Bran, but it, it's like if he trades into it, I can Shadow Bolt it. Things like that. That's if he doesn't heal his guy. He might not heal his guy all the time. Could go for the Bran Dirty Rat MC tech, but I only steal one minion. Let's well, need to do something though. It's hard, like it's hard for me to not do anything. So I wonder if he has two minions. That's really good. Dragonfire potion. 
Yeah, okay. It's not worth it for me to Shadow Flame, the 8 8 here is still. Dragon Fire Potion, I have too many minions that are slightly awkward. Oh, no, he has spell power. Okay, I actually didn't account for that. Double AoE is good here in Reno. I, I think Tap Ooze makes sense, but since he hasn't played any Black and Corruptors, I, I think I like Reno as a body. I mean, Reno is better after Draxus in this matchup to heal a little bit more, but the Ooze does get Corruptored. I could Shadow Bolt, but I mean, Reno actually puts me ahead on board. Or does he get an extra tap in too with the Ooze? Just so get some free kills with this Reno. Actually, it worked out pretty well. I can leave up Nurture Cleric as long as I play stuff with more than 3 attack. So Cabal Talon Priest is a thing here, but I don't, it's still not worth it to do anything about it. Okay, once I play Draxus, I can win. Couple turns more. Save the Shadow Flame for after Draxus. Really good card. Kind of save this combo too. I, I, I could I could see myself maybe just want to play um, Sylvanas this turn. Because if I play this together, I don't get to make an Inferno. Oh, he actually got the heal. I know he can take the free kill here, but I, I still think I should kill Norshar. He actually needs cards so badly right now. Once upon a time. You can probably kill with almost all the dragons. Siphon Soul. Actually, it takes too long to trade off. I actually like this a little bit better for two reasons. One, Twisting Nether is going to clear my side of the board, so it's going to clear my own Infernos. And second of all, it cannot kill my own Sylvanas. And Shadowflame and Sylvanas is a nice combo. I also push in four more damage like this, I think. Actually, no, not really. Shadowflame would get the same damage. I'm not sure in Fellfire Potion. Uh, I think too many Pirate Warriors can't afford to deal five damage to yourself. I, I did make one big miss play this game. I think I should have Shadow Flamed the turn right, Brand MC Tech. I ended up taking like 11 damage for nothing. Try this version. I get a feeling it might not be worth it to tech all for Power War though, because it seems like the Leroy combo is just three cards difference, and they're all pretty decent cards too. Like Leroy is really good with Shadow Flame. I've actually never done this before, but Leroy could also MC tech with Leroy. Thoughts on Token Druid? I actually made a preliminary Token Druid the other day. I didn't actually play it. Hmm. It looked interesting. Just, I feel like people are not trying it because there's other decks that they want to try. Let's contest this 3 2 before it comes down. Where are mages? Mostly Reno.
deal. Against Temple Mage, this wouldn't be good, but because he missed his one drop too, and I had the initiative against Temple Mage, I can afford to uh, take the flame. But I think it's a little bit of pressure against Reno Mage. I have Shadow Bolt for Flame Waker if that happens turn three. Otherwise, I can tap with Flame Imp here. Not the best Flame Imp, but still better than not playing it. This is better. You should play Leroy if you have PO. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have Leroy or PO. Hmm. It's not really that good against Flower Mental. If I play Cascus on turn 4, I can't take card draw, like if I take the 5-man option. I get low value from Flame of Earthen Ring. Not that low value. Might be better. Okay, I just came to some insight here in this matchup. I need to value every minion very highly, so I think I shouldn't throw Cascus away and then play a second root bruiser. I should play the I should play the minions that trade better for tempo. And I might want to combo Bran with Cascus. The reason why is because I don't have Leroy PO combo in this matchup, right? So if I ever play Draxus in this matchup and I'm forced to play Draxus before he spends his Fireballs and his Frostbolts, uh, I might just die. So I need to make my non-Draxus part of my deck count a lot. Meaning I need to value every minion pretty highly. I'd probably take 10 mana potion. Let's just wait for Bran. I was also thinking like which minions died to resurrect. Like there wasn't really any potion I was really looking for this turn either. At this Chabal combo. I think my best two cards in this match was actually Twilight Drake and Mountain Giant. Because those are the unfair mid-game minions that they probably don't have and you have. It's already pretty late in the game, he's already played Cabal's Tome, so kind of likely that um, those minions just get polymorphed or killed pretty easily. I think this matchup is Warlock favored though. His life tap is so good. Four, five, nine. Uh, like I want to cycle through my deck, but I can't tap this turn. Let the pain speak to me. So we turn by him, too. Mage has good two-way, like one-way board clear with Flame Strike. Actually, kind of committing a lot with Swampu's Argus. Don't have to play both though. Looks fine. Because this doesn't die to one Flame Strike. Actually, no, no, no. Never mind. It's actually not that good against Flame Strike because he can trade his guy, but he doesn't get another card from Acolyte if he does that. Another reason to hold is because if he plays Dirty Rat, I could hold some uh, low value cards so I don't lose Kazakis or something f to Dirty Rat. I think my main win conditions are like those mid-range minions, Twilight Drake, Mount Giant, kind of late for it. Otherwise, uh, right now for me, I'm trying to go for Brand Dirty Rat combo, try to pull out some of his value cards. Maybe if I can force him to use an FAOE, 
So I still have Bran, right? Emperor. Not really worth it to go for it. Although, hmm, let's tap first. Okay, so we didn't get it. I feel like we have to go for it, because we, we can save Bran Cascus too. It's too hard for us to do everything. Like, Dirty Rat, MC Tech, Bran Cascus all in the same turn. Right, I should go for it. Well, that works. Kind of. like to get a better card, kind of, but it's actually nice because Adric is throwing lethal. He hasn't used his torch yet, so 3 damage from torch, 2 damage frost, 3 damage frost ult. Firelands portal. So the problem with this turn is, it's like, that guy's kind of throwing lethal if it attacks me, but I need to deal with it a little bit. But then if I Reno here and he is Alex Straws on me after, I could just die after. So I really want to avoid using Reno if possible. Cassius potions do 8 damage on 10 mana. If this Ink Master could one shot me. Into the breach. Almost out of time. So many possibilities. By the power of Almost out of time. Could die here. Actually, I think I die here too often. You wanna cast a spell? Because if it took two five mana potions, they can each do five each. And then if he has five mana potion that does five. And then fire uh, frostbolt and then torch, it's also ten. He's not running Alex Straza, that means this game just went really bad for me in the mid game. Because I, I should have the minion control in the mid game, which I didn't. I've actually never seen a pulled Mountain Giant this late in game because normally Mountain Giant is like played early. You don't have it in your hand that late. But there's like five turns in a row where I was in danger of dying. I couldn't not play the Mountain Giant then. Assuming it's Sights Barrier. If he can remove all my minions, then I actually need to play Draxus. My threats left, let's see, he's used Flame Strike. I think he has one more because that gets potion too. Torch now. He has another torch. I don't have enough minions to win the game. Maybe I do, it's really close. I 
Basically, I need to play Drax and Fatigue the way I'm playing. I, I feel like he has very little removal left, and plus this is 411, so it's hard for him to ever remove it. If I went for Draxus, I feel like he could just blast me down without ever, like, I would do 15 damage myself too. Okay, so I won't have enough minions to kill him now. Gonna need to play this. But he still has torches, two torches, because he got one from Cabal's Tome. So, uh, yeah, probably gonna lose. Seems like it's too hard to rely on Dirty Rat only in this matchup. Probably won't, won't be a Roy combo. I actually do think this game is- this one was like, less about Leroy combo. Once they develop Ice Block into Reno, the Leroy combo isn't even that good. 